in today's video what we're going to be doing is filling up some journals doing some backgrounds some of the um, I think sometimes we feel that we have to do an art journal and it has to be finished now I think this is my composition notebook some of the pages are done and some are um, not and I just wanted to have a quick play and these are these are particular ones that I've got to come back to apart from that one I did that one yeah I like that one um, but so one of the things I sometimes do if I want to be creative but I don't want to particularly draw any draw anything in particular um, I haven't got anything in my mind that I want to draw and what I will do is just play with my supplies so I've got three journals here that um, these are handmade journals um, that recycled and then we've got this composition notebook and I'm just going to be laying down colour and um, these are the colours of the paints I've got here are a mixture of folk art paints, apple barrel and deco art and even some Martha Stewart there and craft smart <laughs> and these are paints I've had for the longest and I just want to use them up so hence just covering some of the pages the other thing that I've got are loads of stencils I haven't used for years so I want to reintroduce myself to them and just you know um, cover some of the pages so I've got three journals here because when you're laying down paint and waiting for them to dry um, it's nice just to then go on to another and I might even have to use a fourth I'm not sure if you do the paint thin enough so you've got one here it's got this has got some in there so this is an example of pages being prepped waiting for me to come back I haven't yet decided do I want to leave it like this or do I want to do something else on them and I will do a flip through of this one another time as with some of the others I was just looking for some ones with blank pages that I can add to as well but what we're going to do is go with what we've got for now and um, yeah so um, I'm using a this is like a stencil brush it's flat it's got a flat brush at the top and it's good for dabbing the paint on. I also do use it to add some of the paint to the surface and I'm also using a card. Any card will do. Um, it's this credit card size and this is a love film card but yeah so uh, they don't do that anymore do they? Oh no it's Amazon but anyway so what we're going to be doing is that kind of motion and I'm also going to be getting a palette knife just in case some of the paint doesn't want to come out so as I say this is old some of the paint is old and I'm itching to go and buy some more but it's just like you need to just get through these paints um, if you're going to use them, oh, those two colours, not too bad, in a craft sense, like just in your art journal, prep, prep some pages and then you'll be able to go and purchase some more and not feel guilty about having unused paints. Um, you might as well use them and uh, create a nice journal page. So. As you see, all I did was add the paint to the paper and I'm just scraping it along and hence having more than one so any excess paint can come on here and all I'm going to be doing is going backwards and forwards in going to be back, backwards and forwards just adding paint to the papers adding layers and I'll put some here none of them has had any gesso maybe one of them has 
but like with this composition notebook the pages are so thin that um, they are excess so we lay it on here and then the other journals are for the excess but you can really kind of you know play and experiment and get some nice colours going if I haven't said that already some nice combinations that you may not have used before and um, I think I've probably got the whole of the oh yeah I've got yellow blue and red the primary colours and uh, okay so that's this one is quite saturated and what I'm going to do is start putting them on this one now Okay, so, so far I didn't get to use all of the um, paints that I wanted to use, so I'll have to hold off buying some more, um, I'll just have to prep some more pages, but as you can see I've, I've actually just used two stencils and um, so I've still got more to go through. This is one, it's a recycled one, it is one of those, um, what are they? Uh, it's called damp rid and this is the lid and so all I've done is cut this out and it makes a nice stencil as you can see and this is one that I actually won this in a competition from uh, is it stamp girls um, but this is like a city grid all the streets and that this this is a river flowing um, 
actually that's the way that it goes, I was using it on the other side. So that's that. So I've got this one that I've done so far, I've got this one. So they've all got similar, with the similar stencils, but they're all, they all are going to look different once I've gone back in to the page and added some other things. And this is the third one. And what I'm going to probably do at another time is think about some other colours, other stencils that I can use. I like the way that the colours are on the page. Um, and as you saw the way that I put them on, just splat them on, scrape them. And then you've got some nice, interesting colours poking through that you may not have done if you had painted it in a different way because it was just like adding them randomly to the page and then scraping them off moving excess to another page you've got some interesting things going on so far and you know even things like this that I wouldn't have you know if you tr tried to plan it it wouldn't you wouldn't have been able to do it but um, I think it's actually I think they've actually come out quite nicely and again this is just the first stage adding background layers and then you can build on it and the, the finished piece may not you you may have a whole set of different colors because it's added um, we've added more layers to it more paint um, maybe even some embossing, maybe some collage and allowed the page to decide what it wants to um, bring forth, whether it wants to bring forth an image or a scene or um, a quote, an encouragement and just sit with it for a while and play. The best things happen when you play and you allow your you know to be inspired by the colors so I would come back in and I I mean these are quite inspiring colors for me anyway they make me feel like yeah I really want to actually do some work on it but what I'm going to do with these especially with the composition notebook you might have seen me at the end adding a bit more paint to certain areas it's because those areas tore so I have to be really um, delicate with them and I'll have to wait until it dries and it gives it once it dries it will have a bit more um, hold to it but that's an easy way to again use up some of your supplies be creative create a background play in your journal without there having to be some finished outcome I mean I've even got some more paint left in here and what I'm going to do is just slap it on slap it on slap it on one of these pages and that then forms you know the beginning of another page use up all your excess paint on other pages and they're great it's a great way to start but yeah i really like this page and even this with the greens red gold and green red yellow and green um paint again inspiring you for when you've got a bit more time and you want to create something so i hope you take time to play in your journals and spend time with some of your supplies if you've got supplies you haven't used for a long time dig them out and start putting them to paper and seeing where it takes you take care for now and i will see you again very soon